Hello, and welcome to the Code Circus. We're going to talk about Python in this course, and where it comes from, how to use it, and how we're going to use it specifically in virtual reality. It was invented in 1987 by Guido Van Rossum in an effort to make a language that was easily extendable. You could write modules for others and yourself to expand the capabilities of the language, such as modules for graphics, data processing, network communication, websites, and virtual reality. Python was an easy to read and write as compared to many other languages. It's interpreted as opposed to being compiled, which means it reads lines of code line by line, allowing for quick prototyping and platform independence, which means you could run it on a Mac, you could run it on a PC, as long as you had an interpreter. Something needs to be said about Python 2 versus Python 3. They are very different, and they're not compatible. As of 2020, Python 2 is no longer supported, but you might still find some cold code in that version. It must be translated to Python 3 to modernize it. The issue was that people were very happy with Python 2, even with its flaws. So after Python 3 came out, people did not want to switch, and this created almost two languages being used simultaneously. However, now Python 3 has become the dominant code in the marketplace, and it's going to be our focus. So the next thing we're going to look at is how to install all of the pieces of software we're going to need in order to run Python on our computers. I'll see you next time.